I felt like crying. It was so nice. Oh, my Lord. Uh, well, thank you, Seamus. And I want to say thank you to uh, Howard Tolman. He is such a rock star that no matter how much of a rock star I say he is, it doesn't truly really encapsulate how much of a rock star this guy is. So you guys should all get his autograph and take pictures of him because trust me, he is like the coolest guy standing in this room besides Seamus for saying all those really nice things about me. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm a huge fan, so every time I get to come to 1871, it's exciting for me. I, I feel like you just walk out of this place smarter than you were when you came in. You're always learning something new and you're always on the cutting edge of what's cool and great about technology and uh, certainly the digital age that we all live in. Uh, yesterday, my three-year-old son uh, picked up his the remote control, which looks like a little kind of like like a game piece or something. Turned on our Comcast cable, so I just want to throw out a shameless plug. But um, and he's three, and he knows how to operate that thing better than my husband, who is a total technologist, myself, and my mom, who still can't figure it out. She's 81, but he learned how to like access his own Netflix and everything at three, and we didn't even teach him, like he just figured this out. But it just is, it's proof of how, when people are not afraid of technology and that they enjoy like playing around with it, like so many things are possible, and that's what your generation is representing. I mean, you live in a completely digital age where um, you, you know, like your kids will not know what it is to use a regular phone. They're not going to know what it is to just call their girlfriend and talk to her without seeing her picture or seeing her talking live. Like, it's just kind of so cool to see everything that's uh, that's being transformed in, before our eyes. And you guys are going to be a part of that when it comes to the code. So I do want to thank Seamus and primarily OpenGov Foundation for this partnership that we have. I'm so proud of the work that we've been able to accomplish together. And it will undoubtedly have a huge impact on governments across this country. I'm super excited to be here today talking about Envision Chicago. I truly believe that the civic engagement that we're encouraging you to take part in is one of the most important steps that we can take to make Chicago the best city that it can be. You know, as clerk, I'm constantly trying to promote this type of civic engagement. The best way to do that is to get Chicagoans involved at your age or even younger. Um, they're the future, obviously, aldermen, like we have here right now. They're the future senators, they're the future mayors, and possibly we might even have a future president. It's not unheard of that we have someone from Chicago go on to, you know, the really big house. So uh, it's exciting. But too often these young people feel very disconnected from government. And I believe that this starts with the feeling that the laws that govern them seem impossible to access. And so in a world where almost everything they need to know is a simple Google search away, and most of their opinions are shared by simply pressing the post button on Facebook or wherever else, Twitter, why can't legislation function in the same way? So Envision uh, Chicago sets out to change this. It puts the law at the, their fingertips, and it allows them to participate in the legislative process in a way that speaks to them most effectively through technology. We're giving students direct access to the City of Chicago City Council because learning about our elected officials and how government works is actually the best way to affect positive change and innovative policy in our city. Chicago has never been known as a city of true transparency. Chicagocode.org will change this. It will revolutionize the way our citizens interact with legislation. What was once considered best left to lawyers will now be in the hands of anyone with access to the internet. I believe that the very first step to a brighter future is a clear understanding of the law. We set out to prove this through Envision Chicago. We won't stop there. While we are starting small, it's our hope to expand the program to all 50 wards. And what better way to challenge ourselves than by giving every student in every corner of this beautiful city the chance to participate in something so cool. That being said, I'd like to thank my fellow colleagues from the City Council who are participating in this initial launch, this birth of Envision Chicago. Uh, Alderman Carrie Austin, I think, is on her way. Alderman Roberto Maldonado from the 26th Ward is right here. 
Foo, right there. Um, Alderman Amaya Pawar is not here. I'm not sure if he's going to make it today, but he is awesome and like a very, very cool alderman. And Alderman Anthony Napolitano is right here too. Boom. And he looks awesome in a beard, by the way. Um, but let me just say that your willingness to participate has allowed us to get this program um, off to a great start. And I can't thank you enough for instilling your confidence in the program and also in me over the last four years, five years, I've gotten to work with my dear friend, Roberta Maldonado, and also with uh, our wonderful alderman in the 41st, right? Yeah, um, Alderman Napolitano. So I'd also like to acknowledge the four Chicago public schools. I know Seamus mentioned you, but let me give you a little bit better shout out. Not better, but an additional shout out. Uh, and the students who are taking part in this inaugural round of Envision Chicago. Thank you, Taft High School in the 41st Ward. Thank you, Lakeview High School, right over here, right? We got Lakeview in the house, um, in the 47th Ward. Thank you to the Marine Leadership Academy in the 26th Ward, and Chicago Excel Academy of Roseland in the 34th Ward. You were chosen because your respective alderman believes that you're essential to the success of the city of Chicago. And I believe that they're correct, and we look forward to seeing the finished product. We really, truly do have a lot of faith in you guys, and we're excited about what you're going to come up with. So last but not least, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Your generous donations will help these students be able to continue on to um, a higher education. And let me start by saying thank you to Microsoft. Thank you to Smart Chicago. Thank you to Haymarket. Thank you to ComEd. And thank you to Comcast. And I know that Seamus mentioned that they're going to be giving away uh, to 50 students free internet for six months, but they're also giving away two uh, laptop computers and that's pretty exciting stuff. So allowing uh, these students to have access to the internet in communities where they just might not or not have the economic means to have that, something many of us take for granted, but they've always been there uh, with their internet essentials program, and I'm excited to have been a part of that as well. Um, thank you for your investment in these uh, young individuals' future. Uh, your returns, I promise you sponsors, are not only guaranteed, but they will be immeasurable. Uh, as I mentioned before, Calling on our youth is the most effective way to promote civic engagement. In the words of W.B. Yates, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. And we're confident that Envision Chicago will be that spark that our students need to light their civic fire. Thank you very much again for being here, and thank you uh, for your support. And let's, let's do this thing right, and I want to see what you guys got. All right. <laughs>